Hey everyone and welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jay. I'm a 2D, 3D artist and indie dev. So I started doing this little mini series for Black History Month where I would go one week and draw a new character from a video game that I like. And this week I've decided that I wanted to do Sheva Alamar from Resident Evil 5. Uh, I, I know a lot of people don't really like the Resident Evil 5 game because it's just a level of ridiculousness that we weren't prepared for from a Resident Evil game, but I like it. This was one of those games that I played all day every day for like the longest time. I enjoyed the couch co-op and the single player co-op. Sometimes the AI was a little iffy, but for the most part, I had a lot of fun. So for those of you who have never played Resident Evil 5, Sheva is a BSS, it's BSSAA, yes, BSAA uh, member who is located in Africa. And the place that it is, is not an actual place in Africa. It's a fictitious location, but it's based in Africa, which was part of the controversy behind this game, if you don't know. A lot of people were saying that it was racist, that you were having these characters go in and basically kill a bunch of Africans, even though they're zombies. So yeah, I kind of understand from the perspective where that controversy came from, but at the same time, they're zombies. They're not the actual African population that's being killed off. And they're not the bad guys. They're not anything. They're they're more of a victims in this situation, but you don't actually see any like non-zombified Africans, except for in like the very beginning. Anyways, yeah, Sheva has been assigned to be Chris Redfield's partner, and she is going to be helping him traverse the area to find Wesker and find this black market for what they're calling it B.O.W. I believe in this game. If I remember correctly, Sheva is also a newer member of the BSSA. So she, I believe she just finished training or she was on another mission somewhere before she teamed up with Chris Redfield. I'm not too sure. But anyways, she's my favorite because in the game, her and Chris Redfield are like my favorite team up. I know some people are gonna be like, no, it's Jill and Chris or whatever, but like, no, it's it's Sheva and Chris. They like just complimented each other really well. And I also like Sheva's brother, I believe he was, Josh. He was like always magically appearing where you need him to be, always getting us out of tight situations. And then there is a certain portion of the game where you're like, oh, I think Josh is dead, but he's not. He just pops up like moments after they come to the conclusion that he probably is dead. And he's like, come on, let's go. We got to get out of here. <laughs> like, that's Josh, his big brother, Josh. Oh, another, another favorite thing. And this isn't mainly on Sheva, but like uh, Chris Redfield's biceps in this game are ridiculous. They're, they're insane. And I don't know who made the creative decision to give Chris Redfield massive biceps, but I have two questions. Why? And um, uh, thank you, because it was just funny. It was just incredibly funny to witness. Oh, and then the quick time events are hilarious if you miss them too. There's one in, what is that? Chapter two or chapter three, where the zombies are on bikes. And if you don't hit the quick time fast enough, you like get slapped <laughs> with the, you get slapped with the chain and it insta kills you. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I died so many times to that, but I still laugh because it's just like, this is hilarious. Anyways, back to Sheva. That was really cool. Um, she's kind of chill. She kind of, uh, her personality complements Chris's. Chris is more hardened and she's a little bit more soft edged, but she's very quick tactile. And Chris is just a tank. He's just a straight up tank. And she's a great support partner for Chris. And I was looking up earlier uh, about the voice actor for Sheva. Her name is, what was her name? Drawing a blank. Karen Dyer. And she has quite the extensive list. 
on top of being a motion capture person, the motion capture, they do the, the animations, like the live action animations for uh, video games and a voice actor. She's also been in a multitude of movies and TV shows and video games. Like, like she's been doing work since 1996. A lot of these I don't recognize, but some of these I do. Like, she, I just found out she was in, what was it? Idlewild, which is one of my favorite movies that came out in 2006. She was actually Eva. I'm like, wow, okay. And then she's also been in TV show wise Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Charmed, Coop and Camry, Grand Hotel. Like, the list is incredibly long. And her video game list is pretty good too. She has Star Wars, Tom Clancy's The Division 2, Madden NFL. It doesn't really say what she was in that, but I'm assuming just like a extra voice or something. And then Katoma, Tacoma, sorry. Which sounds familiar, but I don't really remember what that is. I'll have to look into that. And Call of Duty, The Magic Circle, Street Fighter, Street Fighter X Tekken. Oh, Ultra Street Fighter. What is that? Ultra Street Fighter 4? 5? I don't know Roman numerals. And then of course Resident Evil. With that, I'm all done. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, feel free to send them down below. Have a nice day and bye.